And good evening to the Olympic Stadium, Amsterdam, where tonight Liverpool are meeting Ajax in this very important European Cup tie first leg, first round match. Right away, let me say to you that it is almost a fog-bound ground. The fog is coming and going at the moment. We've got a reasonably clear situation, but nothing like what we would uh, hope to have. But our great hope is that the fog is not going to come down anymore and that we will be able to go on with the game that once or twice today has been in serious doubt. Liverpool, of course, will be playing in their red shirt, but here is the Ajax team, balls in goal, the back line, Serbia, Pronk, Stutakau, Van Dievenbode, middlemen, Groot and Muller, then in attack, Spart, Krov, Nuninga, and although Kaiser is shown there, Kaiser will not be playing. In fact, De Wolf, a young reserve, I'm assured, is the man who will be in the team. Fairly experienced Ajax side, five internationals. Uh, all the forward lines, the four forwards were internationals, but Kaiser being out has made a difference. Now we'll just wait for the Liverpool side to come up. There is incidentally one change. Gordon Milne was not able to travel with us to Amsterdam and into his place has come Bobby Graham. Well, here is the lineup on the field in actual fact. The real lineup will be Lawrence, Lawler and Stevenson, Smith, Yates and Strong, Callahan, Hunt, St. John, Graham and Thompson. Graham has come in, as I say, in place of Gordon Milne. He will be doing the midfield linking work. He has already played this season in their league team and scored a goal. And away they go. Liverpool kick off attacking the goal to the left. And right away, Ajax intercept. Ronnie Yates swinging it right down the field. And identification certainly extremely difficult at this point. Here is the right back. The Serbia puts it forward. Intercepted by Tony Smith, Stevenson. But quickly put out of play by Pronk, the big centre back of Ajax. And here it is Krauf now for Ajax, being tackled by two Liverpool men. Out on the right. And the first corner of the game after less than one minute. This is Jacques Swart, the little outside right, an international player. And a wild kick taken by Groot, one of the midfield men. Tommy Lawrence carefully picking his spot. And as you can probably hear, the Liverpool supporters at least are in very good voice tonight. Graham going up for the ball. Goes back to Yates, St. John. That is Nuninga, number 10, but he is robbed. Callahan putting it across. Thompson, no, gives away a foul. Swart. And Swart making the break. Yates with him. one up. I think the scorer is DeWolf, the young boy who came into the side, but I cannot be absolutely sure because he was out of the picture when the goal was scored. So Liverpool, a goal down so quickly in the game. And Callahan to St. John. Crowd going absolutely mad with delight. Their team have got into the lead so quickly. Strong, 
Now this is a chap with a good shot if he can get it in. But that one wasn't. So 15 minutes gone in this first leg. And it is Ajax 1, Liverpool 0. Luninga number 10. Stevenson to Thompson and Hunt on the left Good run by Schwartz. And they scored. There's the second one. Well, after 16 minutes, Ajax 2, Liverpool 0, and absolute pandemonium rages throughout this tremendous stadium. The rockets going up, the crowd almost delirious. And it is Nuninga who gets the second goal and Liverpool are in trouble, in dire trouble. Two goals down, completely off their game, struggling to get back into a match. Well, the English champions often fight better when they're up against odds, and I can't remember any European Cup tie when they face such desperate odds as this one. can only blame themselves for being in this trouble. Their defensive work has been slack, their passing has been bad, and they have not anticipated danger. And having made such a problem for themselves, what can they do? given against Callahan. Ajax incidentally are unbeaten this season. They've not lost a game in their league or in any other type of football and most of the people in Holland believe that this is the best Netherlands team certainly post-war. And how the crowd are relishing the triumph at least so far of their side. Hands against St. John. Root. And Kraut goes down. Foul by Yates. And this is Spadella certainly having a few strong words with the Liverpool captain. tries again and the referee gives it what a foot outside the penalty area if it had been another foot forward it would have been a penalty because he's shown no signs of it being an indirect free kick Shaping up, trying to cover, leave no gap at all. Once again, and Luminga gets his second goal 
strong for Ajax with seven minutes left for play. This is absolutely masterful. And so Ajax didn't need their penalty to score. They got it with the third shot. Once again, the ball not cleared by a Liverpool defender. Too much time taken and slack marking. And nobody knowing quite what is happening here. Half of them thinking that it is half time the referee <laughs> calling them back on to play again and Liverpool facing the greatest challenge they've ever had in their European passages now three goals down Five minutes left of the first half, getting a free kick for a foul by Groot. This has been a pale shadow of Liverpool tonight. A team as pale as the fog that has shrouded this Olympic ground. A side who just have not got into this match at all. I can't think of any reason why. They are up against a very good side, but they have made mistakes, which certainly they don't usually make. And balls just get it. Even Bode. Oh, a nice run. De Wolf. St. John with him. Covering up. Crouch. Another piece of danger here. And fortunately, Yates getting his leg in the way. Four minutes to go in the first half. Liverpool are really up against it. Three goals down and showing no signs of getting back in. In fact, Ajax, despite their injured pullback, very, very much on top. managed to get it into the open net. Three of these goals at least tonight, at least three should have been stopped. And it certainly looks as though Christmas has come early in Amsterdam. Hunt. The stadium seething with excitement, the crackers going off, the rockets going up in the air greatest night that Dutch football probably has ever had. And Liverpool fitfully, frightfully, very anemic English champions tonight, putting up no sort of performance as we come into the last couple of minutes or so. Schwartz.
Hunt. Graham to Stevenson. And a free kick relieving the pressure. Rhinus Michels, the Ajax coach on the line there, looking very pleased. So one minute of normal time, probably a little bit of injury time left at the end of this first half. Even Bo gets it away, Yates covering up. And another free kick for Ajax after the tackle by Yates. Little Muller, the tiny midfield man, quietly getting through a lot of work, going to take this one. Good shot, but right on the target for Lawrence to uh, save. The interesting point here, four down Liverpool tonight, and yet throughout the whole of the half, I don't think Lawrence has had three or four other shots to save. Stephen Bode. Kraut. And a foul this time for Liverpool. Smith. Callahan. Ajax players moving round. There is the inside right. Kraut right out over on the left. Certainly moving better into position on and off the ball. Thompson switched to the right. And Hunt Header going well wide, relieving the little bit of pressure on the Ajax goal. There is Bill Shankly. Next to him, Reuben Bennett, the coach of Liverpool. Bobby Paisley, the trainer on the left. A very worried Bill Shankly and every reason why he should be. I should think he's also a very disappointed manager because this is not the Liverpool team he's built. There, the end of the first half. The unbelievable score, Ajax 4, Liverpool 0. As the players go off, we will leave you now and be back for the highlights of the second half very soon. So, Ajax, four goals up over Liverpool, kick-off for the second half. Liverpool came out a few moments ago looking up, very bemused sort of team. Let's hope the result of Bill Shankly having shaken them up a bit, because in 21 previous games in Europe, they have never faced a, such a situation as this. Four goals down after 45 frustrating, fiddling minutes, in which they have made some ghastly mistakes. Hunt! Liverpool quickly on the attack, but intercepted there by Pronk. Tommy Smith. And a corner to Liverpool. Right away there on the attack. And it's goals that they've got to get, because a four-goal deficit like this would be 
I would think almost an impossible amount to pull back even on their own ground. Callahan to take the corner. Smith. Callahan. Lawler. Smith. Just a bit too much for Thompson. No, he gets it. And Ajax getting the little bit of luck that goes with a team on the crest of a wave as they are at this present moment. Of their previous 21 games in European competition, Liverpool have won 12, drawn 5 and lost 4. And somebody is down, but just what is going on, it is absolutely impossible to tell you, except it is an Ajax player who is getting up. And 15 minutes are left for play. a break, Krauf, Yates with him, and it's a foul, and the crowd absolutely furious at that tackle by Ronnie Yates on the local idol, 19 year old Krauf. moment we seem to have plenty of players with no ball but the ball has been found. Groot going to take the free kick. Is it Groot? Yes, Groot takes it and he scored! Ajax 5, Liverpool 0. And at least you could see the power of that shot straight through the mist, right through the groping hands of Tommy Lawrence. And what a sensational night this has been for Ajax. Five goals against the English champions. night when absolutely nothing has gone right for Liverpool. Their marking has been bad. They failed to take the odd chance that's come their way and played like a very, very poor side. Hunt. And a free kick for Liverpool on the edge of the penalty area. Referee waving the Ajax players away 10 yards, but they're refusing to go. Quite happy to waste a bit of time. And with 10 minutes left for play, the Dutch side five goals up over Liverpool. Lawler. Uh, 
And a corner. There you can see how packed this ground is tonight. All the people from all over Holland have come, many of them from well outside Amsterdam. Graham finds Thompson. Is he offside? Yes. All I can tell you at the moment is the Goalkeeper Jerry Balls has got the ball, throwing it out somewhere. Callahan. Graham. No one covering up for the break there, and Groot covering defensively. Thompson. Oh no, that was read very easily by Devenbode. Bode. Game petering out now into the last six or seven minutes. Ajax five up completely on top. Liverpool looking aside helpless, hapless, with little will to fight, no determination, and apparently not the skill either to get themselves back into this game in any shape at all. This must undoubtedly be one of the worst performances Liverpool have given for many, many years. Crowd just puts it wide. Wrong to Smith. A little bit of danger, possibly threatening the Ajax goal, but quite easily cleared by these white shirted defenders.
And Graham gets it in, but is offside. Well, there's not very much point in messing about like that because at this stage, time is against Liverpool. And that is time wasted. Playing completely into Ajax's hands. Lola. Strong to Callahan. Smith. Stevenson. But again, a bad pass and bad running off the ball gives it to the op opposing side. Schwart. And gets it to Callahan on to Tommy Smith. Well, he's got the strength to get through. Has he got the skill? Hunt. Smith. And Hunt puts his hands on his hips almost in resignation. A little gone right for him tonight. About three minutes left for play. Yates. The terrace is ringing with the cheers and the singing of the delighted home fans. Never had a night like this in their lives. Oh, little Muller bringing it away. But Smith gets it. to the Wolf. Krauf. Galloping through the mist to where? At the moment, nowhere. Stevenson. Strong. St. John, but loses it. Lawler. Callahan. Thompson. Callahan. Thompson again. Thompson takes the throw very quickly. And once again, defense covering up. And so, coming up now to just about a minute of normal time left for play. And Liverpool have never managed to get back in this second half into a game which was well and truly lost by half-time. One of the poorest performances we've seen probably from, from Liverpool for many, many years. A match in which they've had little or no part. Not been able to stamp any authority, any challenge to a good Dutch side, but by no means a great Dutch side. At least three of the goals given away by defensive errors, and you might say that by the four. Of course, this is the only the first leg of the serial. The second leg takes place at Enfield Liverpool next week. I say the second leg takes place next week. Liverpool, five goals down, will have a tremendous task. They have come back after losing first legs in European matches against Juventus and Glasgow Celtic, but never have they faced a five-goal deficit. But they can do it, perhaps, before their own crowd. With the inspiration of the cup, they may pull off the impossible. After all, who thought that Ajax could put five goals past Liverpool? And so Balls, the captain, goalkeeper captain of Ajax, taking his time nicely and easily before he throws out to... Stephen Bode, the left back. Muller putting it back. Time being taken. They can afford it now. Completely on their side. A five goal lead. Nothing been seen like this in Amsterdam or in Dutch football ever before. There is Sudakau covering up, puts it back to balls. Happy crowd sending off their crackers, their fireworks, their rockets. 
Serbia bringing it away and very little challenge from Liverpool to these Dutchmen. Strange to see a Liverpool side that doesn't have fight. Thompson now, can he get one in? No, a poor shot. Everything about Liverpool has been disappointing tonight. They have lacked the fight we usually see them from them. They have been disappointing in their skill. Their defensive covering has been absolutely disastrous. And well and truly they have paid for it. Now we're into injury time. Strong just failing to get up to that one. And they scored, have they? I think they've got a goal. I honestly couldn't tell you who it was, but from that mix-up, Liverpool, in injury time, have pulled one back. I'm sorry I couldn't tell you who it was. There were so many players there. Quite impossible in this thickness, but at least they've pulled one back, and that goal may very well be quite vital. There it is. There isn't even time to kick off. So the final score... Ajax of Amsterdam, five, Liverpool won in the first leg, first round of this European Cup tie. The second leg takes place at Anfield, Liverpool next week, and we hope you'll join you there for what could very well be a most exciting second leg. For now, this is Jerry Loftus saying goodnight to you from Amsterdam. And good evening to the Olympic Stadium, Amsterdam, where tonight Liverpool are meeting Ajax in this very important European Cup tie first leg, first round match. Right away, let me say to you that it is almost a fog-bound ground. The fog is coming and going at the moment. We've got reasonably clear situation, but nothing like what we would uh, hope to have. But our great hope is that the fog is not going to come down anymore and that we will be able to go on with the game that once or twice today has been in serious doubt. 
Liverpool, of course, will be playing in their red shirts, but here is the Ajax team, Balls in goal, the back line, Serbia, Pronk, Stutakau, Van Dievenbode, middlemen, Groot and Muller, then in attack, Spart, Krov, Nuninga, and although Kaiser is shown there, Kaiser will not be playing. In fact, De Wolf, a young reserve, I'm assured, is the man who will be in the team. Fairly experienced Ajax side, five internationals. Uh, all the forward lines, the four forwards were internationals, but Kaiser being out has made a difference. Now we'll just wait for the Liverpool side to come up. There is incidentally one change. Gordon Milne was not able to travel with us to Amsterdam and into his place has come Bobby Graham. Well, here is the lineup on the field in actual fact. The real lineup will be Lawrence, Lawler and Stevenson, Smith, Yates and Strong, Callahan, Hunt, St. John, Graham and Thompson. Graham has come in, as I say, in place of Gordon Milne. He will be doing the midfield linking work. He has already played this season in their league team and scored a goal. And away they go. Liverpool kick off attacking the goal to the left. And right away, Ajax intercept. Ronnie Yates swinging it right down the field. And identification certainly extremely difficult at this point. Here is the right back. The Serbia puts it forward. Intercepted by Tommy Smith. Stevenson but quickly put out of play by Pronk, the big centre back of Ajax. And here it is, Prout now for Ajax, being tackled by two Liverpool men out on the right. And the first corner of the game after less than one minute. This is Jacques Swart, the little outside right, an international player. And a wild kick taken by Groot, one of the midfield men. Tommy Lawrence carefully picking his spot. And as you can probably hear, the Liverpool supporters at least are in very good voice tonight. Graham going up for the ball. Goes back to Yates, St. John. That is Nuninga, number 10, but he is robbed. Callahan putting it across. Thompson, no, gives away a foul. Swart. And Swart making the break. Yates with him. Two and a half minutes 